up out here on Iowa's front porch here at the fair. And of course, I grew up on a farm, Aaron, so going to the tractor pull is a big deal. But before we get to that, we're going to talk about the uh, showing hogs today. Today is the second class of uh, crossbred market gilts. We're in the ring, hogs and their handlers put on a sort of a parade. And while it may look simple just to bring a hog into the show ring, the Iowa Pork Queen told me that this day is accumulation of months of hard work by these young people. The exhibitors um, have all spent a lot of time throughout their summer working with their pigs, basically training their pigs like an athlete. These pigs are walked every day and cared for, fed obviously, and then we brush them up real nice. And so this is like kind of our big game of the year. And showing off the hogs is a team effort. And for the crew showing from Woodward Granger, they brought their own cook. Tim Hurd is the official team cook coming up with eggs and of course some pork sausage. And while we're talking about eating, today was the annual State Fair Barbecue Cookout Contest. People bring their best to the State Fair. Panel of judges talks to each contestant to learn more about how the meat was prepared. For Stephen Heberlin, it's all how you slice it. Normally when you have ribs, you know, you think you, you cut them with the bone, you know, in between, and then you have the rib with what's on top. I laid the, the knife flat, come down the bones on it, took the meat off. You still got this, you can pick up a bone and chew on it if you want, but you got all the meat in one big chunk where you can lose servings. And the, the roar is back on the west side of the grandstand, the new Elwell Plaza there. This is two days of high-powered tractors in the classic Iowa tractor pole, seeing which one of these beast tractors can go the farthest distance. And I got a close-up look at one of these machines. Uh, this one has an engine taken from a giant helicopter, and a gentleman from Milford, Nebraska, built the rest of this tractor, and it will be pulling uh, tomorrow. The tractor pull goes on again tomorrow, and that'll be up tomorrow. Now, not to be outdone, kids have their own tractor pull. Instead of helicopter engines, they use their own muscle. I saw one little girl from Texas take her tractor to the house. This is actually her first state fair. She missed the last ones because we aren't from Texas and couldn't come up for the last two. So, so how did you talk her into doing that? Oh, she's one tough kid. Yeah, she's <laughs> I mean, tough. And her, her dad is uh, his, his family pulls with, with the, the big pool. Okay. So she watched his grandpa and Uncle Tom Scheffler pull. So. Oh, wow. So I don't know what's more of a nail biter, the uh, the kids in the pedal or the big tractors with all the smoke billowing out. But one thing is cool is that that new plaza there on the west end of the grandstand is really cool. They put a roof on it this year, so you don't have to burn up in the sun if you go over there to watch something. So if you get out here, you might want to check out the tractors. <laughs> Absolutely, that's a must do.